I was lucky enough to be born in the high Himalayas up in Kashmir and my mother was passionate. My mother was really the one who instilled it in us as children. She was passionate about everything wild. She loved climbing and walking. She loved creatures. We were always holding grubs and beetles and slugs and snails and spiders and snakes. She was passionate about the wild world. And so I grew up with, a, with a, the greatest love of animals, insects, flowers, trees, and wildness. Because although I am a human being and I love people to death, I think that we're in danger of crushing everything behind, you know, underneath us. What I love about, about here, um, London Wetland Centre is I've known all about it. I've known about the before it even began when the terror was that it was going to be built over and then Sir Peter Scott managed to secure it for London, for the nation. Visionaries are terribly important and it's not just dreaming, it's actually making dreams happen. This was not a mad, vain, greedy dream. This was realizing that without everything you can see here, which are just plants growing in profusion, wildlife, without the sound of birds, butterflies, bees, insects, the water here with all the things it's got in it, with newts and frogs and small fishes and beetles and bugs. Without this, we as human beings can't exist. We cannot exist. And so I think that dreaming, when it's on this scale, is close to genius, actually. That's the truth of it. This is advice to everybody. Stop looking at screens. I think we've got so used to the idea that you can take in nature by looking at programs on nature, which are completely wonderful and introduce us to it. But it isn't the same thing. And even if you can't see killer whale jumping in the great massive oceans, what you can do is maybe see a frog hopping from a lily pad onto the side. If you sit and watch, your own nature will come to you and you will see the things that are more glorious than you could ever believe. You'll see sunsets and clouds. You'll see a snake swimming in the water. Have you ever seen that? There's nothing lovelier. We've stopped knowing about things and we've got to start knowing again and understanding that we are part of this world. We don't own it, we can kill it, and date, we're on a bit of a tightrope at the moment. We're on the balance of killing it forever, complaining as we go down. Where are pretty things like butterflies? Where are the bees? What's happened to the birds as we slip off that end? Only you and I can change it. And you. London wetlands, we are wetlands, well we are wet things. We could change our names from human beings to human wet things. <laughs>